hey guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to show you a little makeup tutorial and it is a full phase of using bare minerals products and i have created this beautiful kind of um pink smoky eye with a nude lip and super glowy fresh skin and i'm literally obsessed i think this would be so nice she's going shopping even a night out like honestly it's just so fresh and glowy and that is what that is what we love do you know but yeah if you want to see how to get this makeup then just stay tuned so let's get started for i've already done my brows off camera the first thing i'm going to go in with is the bare skin Co complete coverage serum concealer and um, i'm going to use this basically to prime my eyelids and carve out my brows you know i always do this um i just find concealer is the best primer for your eyelids um, so I'm just putting a wee bit in the back of my hand. Yeah, I'm just going to take this on a little angled brush. And then start going under my brow firstly. I like to make my brows quite sharp, as you all know by now. I wanted to thank you all for the love and support on my Grease vlog. Um, I had the best holiday ever. It was so good. And... I genuinely I love the vlog, you guys seem to love it, which makes me so happy. So yeah, no, it was so, I feel like I can't talk when I'm doing this. It was genuinely the best holiday ever, like, it was amazing. I actually still can't believe I actually went. Like, I watched it back and I was thinking, I look outside to my window and then I look outside to that view. I'm just like, was I actually there? Like, was this even real? But it was insane. So I'm just kind of taking it on the lid now. I'm just going to take a beauty blender and then buff that in. I'm just going to set that concealer down with the powder that I'm going to use today. It's the Bare Minerals um, Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. It's in the colour light. And I'm just going to make sure I buff out the creases and just set that down. Actually, if you don't know also, I used to work for Bare Minerals for a year and a half. Uh, I loved it. It was so good. Like, the brand is such an amazing brand. Like, they have such good products, which you'll see soon. And, yeah, I used to work in the actual, like, individual shop. And I was, like, a big group of girls, and they were just so lovely. Like, so the palette I'm going to use today is the Gen Nude Bouquet Floral Utopia palette. So it looks like this. It's all kind of pinks and like purples kind of thing. I think it's so cute. So I'm going to go in with kind of like a pink. Just so I want to do quite a day look. Just for Bare Minerals is all about that kind of natural, fresh face. So I want to just kind of go with that. So the first colour I'm going to go in with is Red Red Roses. Oh, that's a cute name for a palette. So I'm basically just using a fluffy brush to apply this in the crease. And I'm just going out again with like a little small amount first and we can just build up this colour. I'm going to grab another wee blender brush. Oh, this is a Bare Minerals one. It is the blender brush. Such an amazing blending brush. I remember when I worked there, I was like, this brush is unreal. So I'm just going to buff it out with this. It's a little bit more fluffy. And then keep adding more. Super intense. I'm just going to go with that blender brush just to make sure everything is blended. And there is no harsh lines. Okay, so I'm now going to take that pink colour and we're just going to start building up the other eye. So again, just going in with a little bit of a time and we'll want to obviously make it as intense as the other eye. Also, look how cool my nails are. I forgot to show you. These are like little Louis Vuitton, like my nail tech, like drew the Louis Vuitton on. Um, she's so good. She's called Sophie. Our um, nail place is called Nailed It Nails on Instagram. If you're in the Ayrshire area, go to her. She's unreal. Um, I literally love, like, I love Louis Vuitton, as you probably know. But genuinely, if I was a nail set, I think this is what I'd be. Like, I think there's, I think, honestly, Louis Vuitton is a bit of me. Just add a bit more again so we can get it to the same intensity as the other eye. Just wiggling your brush back and forth. As I said, we've got fallout, so that, 
that's why we do our eyes first. The next colour I'm going to go in with is the little kind of pink shimmer um, colour and it's called Daisy and Confused. That's me, I'm, I'm a bit ditzy and confused. Um, so I'm just going to, it's a pink, light pink shimmer and I'm going to pop that on the lid. How are real is that pigment? I didn't even use like a setting spray or anything on that, like that's just, that's just so pigmented. I'm very impressed with these eyeshadows. I'm going to go in the, for the other eye. I'm going to go in with the blender brush and a little bit of the pink matte colour just and just buff it into the shimmer just to make sure it's all blended together. And then for liner, I'm going to use the Round the Clock liner. It's like a cool one, but it's really, really creamy, which I love. I hate when like a cool liner is just dead like dry and it like drags on your eyes and it actually like hurts doing it. Just popping this on the top lash line and wiggling it between my eyelashes. I have got um, eyelash extensions obviously on. Um, I'm not taking it all the way in, kind of more to just like outer corner, make her eyes look a little bit more elongated. And then I'm going to use a blush like this and go in with the darkest colour in the palette and just smudge that out. I always like to smudge out my liners. I feel like it just makes it a little bit more smoky, a little bit more softer. Yeah, look at the difference. That liner just like the lash line looks thicker. But I love this liner. If you're looking for like a liner, just not like a liquid one, I would definitely say this is my favourite out of like every brand. And then just smudging it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe away the fallout and then we'll do our under eyes before we go and do our face. I'm just gonna take that concealer once again and prime my under eyes with it. I'm not gonna go too smoky under the eye again. I'm just gonna do kind of just like maybe like one colour all under. But I always like to do my under eyes actually before my face makeup because if you like do your eyeshadow, do your face. And then you go and do your under eye and you've done your concealer, everything's perfect and it just, the pink can just stain it and I'm just like, not a vibe. So um, I always do my under eye if I'm doing something like with colour or just something that's, if I just do a bronzer my eye, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't really fall out almost like bronzers. Okay, so I'm just going to take that pink on a kind of pencil brush and we're just running that back and forth under the eye. I've just basically took that underneath the lash line. I want to do the same with the other eye. Get me pencil brush and then just run it all the way from outer corner to inner corner. But I'm just going to leave the eyes. I'll do the bottom lash mascara once we are finished our face. And I'm just going to go into face, I think. Okay, so for primer today, I'm going to go in with the Primetime Original Foundation Primer. This reminds me a lot of Benefit Professional and like literally the same like consistency and stuff, but this is obviously a lot better for you because it's all mineral based. But it makes my skin so smooth and it fills in my pores. Like I have quite bad pores around my nose. So for me, when I'm looking at a primer, I always want one to just minimise it. For foundation today, I'm going to use a combination of two products. The first one I'm going to go in with is the Bare Minerals, well obviously Bare Minerals, why am I saying this? Because I think I'm doing a normal video with like loads of brands. I'm going in with the Complexion Rescue, it's like a tinted moisturiser. I've used it before my channel and I'm going to go in with the colour Natural. I have got fake tan on, as I said I don't tan my face, my neck is kind of worn off as well, it's just like cleansing and stuff so I really want to match it if I, ha if I didn't have this jumper on um my chest is quite dark so I want to match it to my chest even though you can't see it so I'm going to just dot this all over my face I'm just buffing that in with a foundation brush um this gives a really light coverage obviously because it's a tinted moisturizer there's not a ma massive amount of coverage sometimes on holiday I would just wear this um, I would literally just wear that on because I was like I don't really want a lot of coverage but for this look I'm wanting to kind of make it a little bit more full but I'll show you what I'd, how, how I do that. Okay 
So this is also very much a cult Bare Minerals product. This is like what you think of when you think of Bare Minerals. Um, it is the original foundation. So I've got this in quite a few colours, but because I have a fake tan on, I'm going to use shade medium beige. But honestly, this foundation, by the way, I remember when I started Bare Minerals, I had really bad skin. And people were like, try the try the um, powder. And I was like, nah, it's powder, it won't cover. But it's actually, it is in a powder consistency. But I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Um, so I'm basically taking the Bare Minerals Smoothing Face. I find this brush is quite dense. It's going to maximise your coverage. They'll probably recommend, if you go to Bare Minerals and say you want this foundation, they'll recommend another one, another few brushes. If you want a really full coverage, don't get those brushes, get this one. I've tried I've tried all the, all the brushes and this one, for me, just gives me the most coverage. Um, I mean, if you don't want the most coverage, then take the kind of softer brush. But if you're like me, love a good full coverage, but want it to look natural, like because we're using the Bare Minerals, then get this brush. That was such a long spiel for just that. Anyway, take my brush, I've swirled it in the little pot, so you basically tap some in, swirl it, cap off the excess, and then just buff it into the skin. So you're buffing in circular motions, and basically the more you buff, the more coverage you're gonna get, and like the creamier it becomes. So basically like when I'm buffing the minerals, like the powder minerals, it actually buffs into a cream consistency, and that's how you get your coverage, and that's why it doesn't look like powdery. So I'm just building it up and then if you want to add more coverage, like I have a little bit of scar on my cheek, I'll just simply add more there. It's totally good. You can build it up as well. It's super buildable. I'm going to go in with my concealer now, the one that I just used on my eyelids. And I'm just going to add a little bit more coverage. It's kind of lighter the concealer. that I kind of want to use it as well as like a highlight. So just kind of... The usual areas you kind of conceal in a little bit. I have a little bit of scar and I like to add a little bit more coverage to my cheeks. We don't need to do the under eyes because we done them. So I'm going to then um, buff that in with my beauty blender. Cute. How amazing does that skin look? Like that looks like full coverage deliciousness. I love it. Right, let me go in with powder. So I'm just going to use the powder that I use to set my eyes as well and the bare skin one and just set down any areas that I think usually gets like oily and stuff like that. So my forehead, anywhere pretty much I put that concealer. I usually set with powder. I'm going to go in now with bronzer. So the bronzer I'm going to use is Warmth, but it's a compact version. Like how cute is this? I got it, um, Bare Minerals are a really good advent calendar. I use some of the stuff from the advent calendar, but how tiny. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm just going to go in with this bronzer. This bronzer is unreal. I love it. I used to, when it came out, the compact version, I was like, yes. It was so nice. Lovely, lovely shade. It's not too orange but again not too like ashy it's just that nice in between bronzer colour that we that we love my friend that we love so I'm just taking that everywhere you would usually bronze so on the forehead temples the cheeks it smells like summer as well and then taking a bit in the jaw I'm not gonna contour my nose I'm just gonna pop a little bit down it with like the big brush and you can just add more if you feel like you want more. Obviously, I love bronzer, as you know, so generally makes life better. It is a highlighter. It's called Free, the shade, and it's beautiful. So let's let's add that on to our cheekbones. I really like the Bare Minerals highlighters um, because they don't have glitter in them, so they don't look that chunky, really like fake way. Like, I love a highlighter, but I hate when they look too chunky. So these ones are still really glowy. Like, look at that glow. Like, they're still super glowy. I'm just going to put highlighter all over my face. You know the drill. I'm going to take that highlighter also on my inner corner. Love that. pop some on my brow bone as well and then for blush there's actual no surprise here i've used this i think in every video it's actually only the, the only blush i wear i have a few different blushes but nah nothing cuts it nothing quite makes it like this it is actually the same 
a highlighter as three. It's called Joy. I wear it as a blush because I'm like, see if you look at that. That doesn't look like a highlighter. Like, it's a blush. So, I wear it as that. But it's just got a lot of shimmer in it. So, that's why I love it because who doesn't want a shimmery cheek? But, yeah, this blush is so cute. I like to put a little bit of highlighter on my forehead. Not highlighter. I like to put a little bit of blush on my forehead and my nose. It kind of just ties the look together, I feel. You can kind of go ham, the ham to blush with this just because we're doing pink eyes um, a nudie pink lip so we're wanting to yeah you can kind of go to ham when you have a pink eye with your blusher I think okay for bottom lash mascara I'm going to go in with the Lash Topia it's unreal I have used it before on my channel I think um, but it's a such such a good mascara I would obviously use this in the top lashes but I have extensions so I'm just popping this on my bottom lashes for lips today, I'm going to go in with a pinky nude. Now, Bare Minerals for me, I think their lipsticks are really like top tier amaze. Um, I use a lot of their lip products like on clients, on myself, on my channel. So, yeah, I think they're one of the best products that, yeah, best lip products I've actually seen. This lip liner has gone through, like, how small? It's gone through the wars with me. Um, this is um, Jen Nude Lip Liner in the shade Borderline, the perfect nude. It reminds me a lot of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner, if you're familiar with that. It is pretty similar. So I'm just going to go all over my lips, colour them in. I, I basically, if I've not explained before, I colour my lips in my lip liner to make my lipstick lip gloss prolong, like make it last longer. Uh, it's the best. So I'm just going over my cupid's bow. And then for lipstick, I'm going to go in with the Bare Pro Lipstick in the shade Petal. This is, reminds me as well of MAC Belle Terry. Similar, similar consistency as well. Uh, and then, sorry, the gloss I'm using is Rebel. So this is a really popular gloss in Bare Minerals. I used to always sell it, I remember. It's just like a gorgeous pinky nude. Uh, it's really nice. Okay, and then for setting spray, if you remember those recently, I think it was like last year I came out with a setting spray. I got it in the little advent calendar. Look, it's so tiny. Um, it's called the Do My Setting Spray. It just makes your skin kind of dewy, not like a matte finish. And that's what we love. We love to glow. We love dewiness. Yes, I'm all about that. I'm just going to cover my eyes and spray this. And then, oh, I just swallowed it. <coughs> Don't do that. And then I'm going to get my fan. And that is the finish looks. So I'm going to show you a little bit closer up. How nice is that? That skin is giving me life. And then the eye makeup is just a beautiful day-to-day -day kind of, but still glam. Like, I could wear this on a night out hell to the guess. But, again, in a pinky nude lip, like, I'm obsessed with this. This has made me actually, like, me like, like we start my love with Bare Minerals. It is honestly one of the best makeup brands. I mean, I worked for them because everyone thinks about Bare Minerals. You think about the skin, you think about the foundation, whereas they actually do some beautiful, beautiful eye products, as you can see. But um, yeah, I had so so much fun doing this makeup look for you, and I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you want to see any more videos like this, any more makeup tutorials, then let me know down below. But other than that, I will see you on the next video. Bye.